Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Wilma. I film content relating to faith, waiting, marriage, motherhood, and lifestyle. So do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and join this family. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you um, don't stop praying for a miracle. I'm going to be sharing with you the importance of persisting in prayer, especially if you are on the TTC journey. If you didn't know, um, this channel is mostly dedicated to encouraging couples who are trying to conceive or battling infertility in any form. So yes, let's just get into the video. So in today's video, I'm just going to use a uh, a paragraph or I'm going to use a short scripture in the Bible to um, kind of encourage us why we shouldn't give up and that's Luke chapter 18 Luke chapter 18 verse 1 to um, with this one there about okay or the passage Luke chapter I'm going to use the passage Luke chapter 18 to encourage us now here is this um, woman who feels she's been cheated she's been um, you know she's been attacked she's been persecuted and decides that no I have to get to this judge to deal with this matter now she goes to this judge at a very odd time keeps banging on his door keeps disturbing keeps you know making all the noise and that's calling for attention this judge initially is not bothered he's not I mean he cannot be bothered you know he's in his own right he's in his own class he cannot be pestered by some excuse me to say woman who is in her own world having her own troubles now guess what after much persistence this is just a summary of the story after much persistence the judge wakes up and goes like god who is this woman i don't know her i don't even fear her god but if i don't attend to her she will not leave me alone to have my peace of mind so what does this short exhortation tell us you see i have been on the waiting journey before yes five years and sometimes it looks as if you've been praying 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 for a miracle and there is no help in sight no answer but you cannot afford to stop praying because the day you decide to stop is perhaps the day you close the door to you receiving your miracle and why am i saying that sometimes you are just so close to the door and the door is actually open for you to enter but by the mere fact that you lose your persistence you end up having the door closed little man come good morning how are you you are blessed and favored in jesus name Come, come and sit down quietly. I'm doing a video. Hello. Hello, Bubu. Okay. So, as I was saying before my little man showed up, <laughs> the truth is that you need to persist in prayer. Sometimes you need to keep knocking on God's door. It does not mean that God doesn't hear you the first time you pray or the first time we ask for something. But let's even come down to our level as sons and daughters of our parents sometimes we need certain things and when we even ask our parents they don't immediately give those things we need to us they ask us to wait they say no they say we should hold on and sometimes it's a yes so yes it takes a lot of persistence and push in prayer and prayer sometimes should not just be limited to taking from god taking from god taking from god sometimes god has a purpose why he's taking you through that season so sometimes your prayers should not even be that god give me the answer give me the answer sometimes your prayers should be god give me the grace to endure this season or give me the grace to go through this season and come out without fire okay or come out on scape or come out with my faith intact it is so important so now the first thing i want to say is that we must pray at all times and we must not look back we must not look back on the fact that the things we are trusting god for he hasn't done them yet that is the reason why we need to persist just like that woman her persistence her consistency sometimes you pray and you're like i've prayed every prayer in the world i'm tired change your mood of prayer switch it up to worship switch it up to praise so the few things i want to share um particularly based on this scripture of of uh, this persistent widow is that one our circumstances must not determine how persistent we should be okay 
Okay, so what I'm saying is that it does not necessarily mean that when your situation is not too serious, don't be persistent. Or when your situation is too serious, be extremely persistent. At all times, attach that spirit of persistence to what you need because you know how badly you need it. And I keep saying this, in 2019, I was persistent because I told God that that year will not pass me by and I must have a baby on my laps and my husband is my witness, okay? And the second thing I want to say is that there are seasons in, in um, being persistent, definitely. There are times your persistence level will go high. There are times too that you are so down you cannot even pray, let alone be pushy in prayer. Switch it up as I mentioned earlier on. Try other um modes of prayer worship praise sometimes it's just about calling other people to just you know fellowship with it helps it helps you it helps um, strengthen you to keep the journey then the last thing i'm going to say is that trust god's timing and purpose this woman knew that that was her time it's like at this time if i let go the judge will not take me serious so sometimes you are so close to your miracle that that is when you need to attach the seriousness and importance to your prayer life to your taking drugs to your hospital visits to everything you need to do to open that window of conception for you so you need to discern i cannot even like um I cannot stress it enough. You really need to discern the times and the seasons in order not to miss this divine encounter for yourself or to miss that divine moment of miracle for yourself. And finally, when all is said and done, just remember that God is God. He will do what he will do within his own time. And unlike the judge who was man that decided that, oh, I would get up and do it because she's pestering me and all that. God can decide that no matter how much you are pestering me, let me take my time and make sure that certain things for you are sorted. Perhaps your finances need to be sorted before baby appears. Perhaps your husband and you yourself, your relationship needs to be sorted out, settled before a baby comes into that environment. Perhaps your employment needs to be sorted before a baby comes in. So trust God with whichever answer he tries to give you. And as you are you know, being persistent. Sometimes God will reveal a lot to you in dreams, through prophecies and all that. Be sensitive. I hope this video encourages you. That's my little one. I hope this video encourages you not to give up, but to keep praying for a miracle. And definitely, you'll be sharing your own testimony. Are you can please keep quiet? Shh. To, and definitely you'll be sharing your own miracle soon. I hope this video challenges you not to give up and definitely you'll be sharing your own testimony soon. I'll definitely see you in the next video. Put it in the comment section. What are some of the things you, you are personally doing on this waiting journey, you know, to ensure your consistency. Okay. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.